Hi, I'm Samantha Clark from Samantha Clark Photography. I am a wedding and portrait photographer and today I am going to be answering another question in my Ask Sam Anything series. So basically what this series is, it's the opportunity for people to send me questions through email or social media and for me to answer them in person in video. I was answering some of them on my blog in writing but I find it a little easier for me to answer them in a video format so bear with me I'm going to be doing this and it's gonna see how it goes thank you for watching so let's get into the question I really like this question a lot actually so this question comes from Crystal and her question is, being new to the country, I'm not very familiar with places and or people to form relationships just yet. I'm also usually so busy with work and school that I don't get the chance to do much personal shooting. Beyond that, I'm not fortunate enough to live in a supportive or semi-quiet environment here in Canada. My work is not valued or appreciated by my family and it slows down my creativity and how well I can come up with ideas. I wish I could break out of the funk it puts me in, but it's difficult, and I was wondering if you had any advice you could send my way. I know I'm a good photographer, but I'm trying to be better, more well-rounded, and this is one of the obstacles in my way. Another one is just fear of not being good enough. I see many of my classmates branching out and taking excellent images and I just don't always feel as though I am in the same league. Thank you so much for your question Crystal and I can feel your pain. I think I'll start by saying that the obstacles that you're talking about are definitely not easy to overcome. Being a photographer in a new place and trying to navigate not only um, you know a new environment that you may not really know that well but also just trying to get to know people and all of the challenges that that throws at you is just very very tricky I also went through that myself um, I've lived in a few different cities over the years so I, I totally can relate um, I totally admire your courage to ask for help and I think that you have a really strong desire to get better and to keep pushing so you're already on the right track and I totally and I say totally a lot I notice, but <laughs> okay so being in a new place juggling a bunch of things like school and your personal life isn't easy but um, one thing I'll say is that you you should stop comparing yourself to other people comparison is the thief of joy and that is a quote that I love because it's so true. The more we compare ourselves to other people, we'll always either find people better than us or, you know, we'll just start picking at ourselves and criticizing ourselves. But the truth is, the only person that you should be comparing yourself to is yourself. So um, look back at your work from earlier, you know, maybe a year ago. And I mean, have you gotten better? And if you have, even if it's just a small, um, a small improvement, I think you should be very proud of yourself. The more you focus on being the best you that you can be, I think you'll start to feel a little better about yourself. Um, in terms of advice, I would say since you're in a new place, um, use your free time, your evenings, your weekends, and try to. Um, go scouting, go looking for locations. Something that I do, or did and still do, is um, I may not even be on a photo shoot, I may just be out with family or friends, and I may see a place that I think is really interesting, maybe has a, crew, a cool graffiti wall, or I think the park has a really nice area for photos, I'll make a note of it in my phone. And that list is so long now, that I never run out of places to shoot so I would say start to keep a list of places that you really like and go there whenever you'd like to have a photo shoot um, also since you're new to Canada 
I think it's a great opportunity because um, here, being here in Toronto, I think sometimes some of the locations get a little boring if you're from here and you think to yourself like, man, I wish I was on an island somewhere, on a beach somewhere. So take advantage of being in a new place and really um, use that to build your portfolio in a really cool and different way. Um, you also talked about fear and not feeling good enough. This is something that I don't think is abnormal. I have dealt with fear and I've dealt with feeling inadequate before and I think it's just a matter of changing your mindset. The truth is the more you put yourself out there and feel uncomfortable is the more success and the more opportunities that will come your way and I'm sure just you sending this question to me may have felt uncomfortable but you are definitely um, taking the lead or taking the initiative and doing something to better yourself. So like I said, don't compare yourself to other people. It doesn't help you at all. If anything, use the people around you to inspire you and um, you know, just keep on the road, keep practicing and keep looking for locations that inspire you. Thank you so much for your question, Crystal. And to anyone else that has questions, please feel free to send them to me. I accept questions via email or social media. You can find me on Instagram at Samantha Clark. At, uh, on Twitter, you can find me at underscore Samantha Clark. And on Facebook, you can find me at Samantha Clark Photography. Thank you so much. And I'll see you on the next Ask Sam Anything.